The commander of the Combined Arms Center at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, visited the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence in Fort Leonard Wood June 3rd. We had a chance to sit down with Lieutenant General Robert Caslin Jr. to talk to him about his initial impressions of Fort Leonard Wood, lessons learned applied to basic combat training, technology through gaming and simulation, and Army families. On initial impressions of Fort Leonard Wood... And I was, I'm incredibly impressed. Uh, first of all, I went to the headquarters building and saw that, that beautiful building, what the capabilities that it provided for each one of the three schoolhouses, um, the library I saw that was in there, some of the great training, and probably uh, some of the classrooms were really fitted for some of the technologies that we're actually using for our learning environments in the 21st century. So, uh, and Leonard Wood, and then going out to the training sites uh, for each one of the schoolhouses was fantastic. And I think there's, they have great facilities, great training programs, and uh, the people that are running these programs are just first class. On lessons learned applied to basic combat training? What we see in the wars that we're fighting, though, is that some of the skills are, are we need to identify some additional skills that got to be inserted into this and some of the ones that maybe drop out as a result. I'll give you a good example. One is how do you, how do you fight IDs? What is a counter ID fight? How do, how do brand, because, you know, that, it, it's obvious that regardless of what type of war we're going to go into, whether we're going to defend the Korean Peninsula or whether we're going to, be, um, you know, go elsewhere in the world, uh, the enemy really understands that there is a lot of, um, I mean, the weapon of choice is going to be, one of the weapons of choice is going to be IEDs mm -hmm. of all different types and variations. So therefore, um, one of the requirements to, to fight a counter IED fight all the way from an individual soldier's skills to identify an ID, to identify where, where it was, and to, be, to have situational awareness, all the way to the complexity of how to do this on a staff and man manage the spectrum of your electronic warfare equipment. All of those sort of things are no longer skills just for the, the fight in Iraq or skills just for the fight in Afghanistan. They're going to be skills that are going to be whatever fight we fight in. So those are the type of skills we need to identify and then bring into the base of a training, the, you know, like the ba basic training and then mm -hmm. AIT as well. On technology through gaming and simulation. I think we're going to be modifying how we learn. Uh, not because technology is going to drive it, but because technology will help enable it. Uh, what I found is that this generation of soldiers is learning a whole lot different than you or I learned. Mm -hmm. I have a son who's a second lieutenant and uh, when you know, I, I'm used to PowerPoint slides and someone lecturing you uh, eight hours a day. And I would take notes and go back and study. But my son, as he was going through Bolick and that type of instruction, he was sitting through that type of instruction, he'd call me up and say, Dad, this is getting a little ridiculous. So he was no longer motivated by PowerPoint and things like that. We just got to, as an Army, uh, recognize this, understand how our soldiers are going to learn mm -hmm. how, and, and how an education will enable it and how technology through education will be able to enable a lot of this learning. And it's important for us to do that. If, it, it's, if we don't take advantage of it, recognize it, then we're just going to miss the opportunity that's going to go past us. And then we'll be playing catch up. Okay. And on Army families. Well, fortunately, even though uh, some of the money that's coming, that's coming down with the loss of uh, contingency funds uh, I believe the senior leadership of the Army's commitment to families and the family programs and the family covenant is not going to drop at all. For the Fort Leonard Wood Report, I'm Tiffany Wood. <laughs>